a look at this. Uh, basically, the National Hurricane Center found some stronger winds inside of, uh, which is now Tropical Storm Emily. It's near Tampa, Florida. The track hasn't changed. It's just strengthened a little bit. Weak disturbance over in the uh, central Atlantic, but let's focus on this Emily. It is going to bring heavy rain to Florida, and then it's going to cross there. Now, again, it's got winds of 45 miles an hour. Uh, the cutoff is 39 miles an hour. It's moving east at 8, so it is going to cross Florida. It will probably weaken down to a depression. It may stay as a depression for a little bit. Now they forecast some strengthening. Winds of 40 miles an hour. That barely makes it a tropical depression as it moves off to the northeast. It is expected to stay well to our south. The computer models are in good agreement with that. And uh, it is possible that this could fall apart, though, in the next two to three days. Some computer models barely have it hanging on after Florida, so we'll check back for updates. We'll definitely track this next few days, though, either way. But we've got this big area high pressure over us locally. That's given us nice weather, and that should keep the system way to our south. So, uh, again, this is a very good thing, this uh, big high and cool northeast winds. we got dry weather on nice days on the way. 83 degrees for a high today in sunshine. We're in the upper 80s next couple of days. Then by Thursday, we'll hit 90, but some 80s return for Friday into the weekend. We'll get some rain coming in later this week, but right now it's very dry outside. We get our dew points in the 50s, uh, mostly throughout the region. This is very comfortable. When you get dew points in the 50s this time of year, that is great. So right now we got a lot of sunshine. We're in the upper 50s in Newport News, 71 in Norfolk, 61 in Portsmouth, 66 Virginia Beach. We've got some 70s in downtown Portsmouth and low 60s in Chesapeake, Hampton, mid 60s in Suffolk and Williamsburg with all that sunshine. It's a nice morning, maybe a little cool for some inland. Now through the day, let's track uh, the sky conditions with future track. It's going to we're going to go quick because it's easy this morning, midday, this afternoon, 3 p.m. Sunshine or mostly sunny, so quiet weather for today up through six o'clock. Still quiet weather and then we go into the overnight. Mostly clear, clear sky, so quiet weather basically for the next 24 hours and then keep going up through uh, Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday evening. We got a lot of sunshine, but the clouds are going to build in a little bit late in the day. Models trying to throw in a stray shower. Not going to happen. We got dry weather again for tomorrow. So for today, 82 in Nags Head, 83 Elizabeth City, 85 in Edenton. We got a lot of sunshine. Northeast winds 8 to 12 miles an hour. 81 Virginia Beach, 83 in Norfolk, low to mid 80s in Portsmouth, Suffolk, Chesapeake, 85 in Franklin. We got 81 Pocosin in Hampton, 82 in Newport News, 85 in Williamsburg, and then I've got 81 in Melfa, 79 in Chincoteague, and 82 in Gloucester. With a lot of sunshine today, things are looking good. Now, beach forecast. You got a high threat for rip currents out there. Remember, we had a system over the weekend, Saturday. Well, it's gone, but it produced a lot of waves. That continues today. Waves two to four feet. So be careful, swimmers. Use extra caution down there at the local beaches. Swim near a lifeguard. And some of those lifeguards may not want you to get in past your waist, so keep that in mind. But surfers will be loving it. Just be careful. Next few days, dry conditions. We'll have highs in the upper 80s. Back to 90 by Thursday. Next chance of rain comes in around Friday. The tides won't be as strong as this weekend. Maybe some nuisance tidal flooding. That's it.